welcome back to our channel, The Big Key Family. I'm Yolanda, the mother of the Big Key Family. And we have another big stock up haul. We mainly was focusing on the household stock. Since the last video you guys seen should have been the stockpile closet. I straightened it out and I figured out what we need to finish filling it up. So we did do a big old haul. Um, actually, my daughter Yasmin, she did this haul. She paid for this haul. All right, you guys, um, I'm gonna start with you. We got two of the ties. These are the bigger ties, the 64 low ties right here. And they're gonna finish off what we need in the stock for the laundry detergent. We got two paper towels, one of the super absorbing from Kroger's. And I think she got these right here from Target, the Bounty Prince. So that's awesome. Um, and then she got the big 36 count of Scott tissue from Target. All right, y'all. It's real busy around the house today for some reason. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this grocery haul. <laughs> it's like a lot going on, see like. So the Scott paper towel, the 36 count, we always use it. We all see in my shot and everything. These folks. But we the Big King family, y'all. Okay, so the 36 count. So all this where here is going to go into the stock. And then I'm probably going to show me getting it into the stock and trying to, uh, and finishing up, um, filling up the stock pile, you guys. Right, we're going to start right here. We got these bananas right here. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's eight bananas. Good banana. Banana is good to start your day off with. Then we got this, uh, the advanced, um, I love using these in the house, the oil air wick warmers. I got, you'll see that I have plenty in the stock. So I got one of those. Uh, yeah, I don't really get this haul. Coke Zero, she know, I really do love Coke Zero, but then she got some Sprite for everybody else. Six pack of Sprite, six pack of Coke. Got the antibacterial soft soap. This is the 11.5 out of the kind of bigger ones. And this is your white tea and berry, okay? And this is another soft soap. Clean and protected, the cool splash scent. And this is your 11.25 ounce, kind of a bigger size. Okay, got two of these. Two of these method um, body washes, Simply Nourish Berry Balance ones. The coconut uh, rice milk shea butter one. Uh, acai, acai, acai mulberry, and the berry one. So a very balanced and simply nourished for the method body wash. These body washes are pretty good. I also got two of the Dove um, deodorants, Advanced Care. She got these at Kroger's. She went, I think she went to Target and to Kroger's, you guys. And this one right here is the dry spray. It's your cool essential scent. And that one right there is the lavender fresh scent. The uh, Dove spray. You know what? I mean, I keep on. I used to keep on all the time, stuff like that. But I've never even tried these deodorant sprays. Never have. So now I guess it'd be my chance. A lot of times, what us girls do, we just throw one in the bathroom, and you know, you just use it as, as needed, and then we throw another in there, something like that. All right, we got two of these naive body washes, native body wash. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they are like what well, 18 fluid ounce. They're pretty big. Got uh, cucumber and mint and sugar cookie. All right, got the night, na na the native body washes. Okay, here's the X Aqua Vermont deodorant body spray. Normally we grab these for Ducey. And um, we did get a, she got a few groceries, but this was mainly uh, a stockpile stock up for our stockpile to make sure we just have everything we need in it. But we did get a few grocery items. We also got three. She got three of these training pads. I think she just wanted to go ahead and load Tink up with the training pads. And up and up would be the Target brand. She got these from Target. Three packs of these. We got these finished tabs. Uh, one is the 11 count and one is the 17 count. Um, and these are great. But these are the ultimate ones. My favorite is the Quantum, but they came up with these new ultimate ones and I believe she's able to get, she coupons um, often just like I do. So she probably was able to get a good deal on these ultimate finish ones since they're a new one, but we used them all and they work very well for the dishwasher. All right, and she got another pack of, uh, you know, of the regular pull-up, um, 17 count right here. Always good to have a pull-up. Thanks for sending your water right in front of the camera due to the bug. We also got two of these pizza rolls. 
The 50 count ones, one is pepperoni and one is triple cheese. So this will be for the kids. So got two packs of these taquitos, 15 count, the chicken and cheese ones we always love. Uh, and she also got three of these um, French toaster sticks. Uh, quick and easy breakfast is right here. Just throw them, they just can go right in the air fryer and soak in these or else toaster oven. So good, she just thought to go in for us being able to get out again. Uh, a lot of people around here haven't been to work in almost a week. So now we're just not starting to get back to work just a little bit by a little bit. I still have a woman back to work because as you guys know, I have the flu. But hopefully I'll be back at work in a few more days. So yep, this is great to have to just be quick. Grab a bite to eat and get on out the door. She also had got two of these organic um, egg noodles for, she got two packs. We're gonna make a big old pot. Uh, like Mississippi Southern Crew, I know over there, Alicia is getting ready to do her a uh, big pot of chili. She getting ready to do a big pot of chili. And I saw a chili starter kit thing she bought. Two alarm chili starter kit. You heard of that city? We need to probably try that with our chili. I don't do make it hot, I don't know. But I love a hot chili, I don't care. I don't care if it's hot or mild, whatever. It don't matter, I love a big pot of chili. But, and so over there at the Alicia Southern Crew, their channel, their family channel, they are doing a big pot of chili. Today we're doing a really big pot of chicken noodle soup. And I really been having taste for a big vegetable soup. So hopefully sooner or later I'll get my vegetable soups. I'll get them sooner or later, I will. Did get some snacks. Some of these, um, these are new goldfish crisps. So are they like chips? No, they probably be crisp. They might be thin or something. They say light and airy, so they may be thinner and kind of thin and crisp. You know, don't know for sure how these are gonna go. I might taste those. I'm not real big on the goldfish. I'm not. I won't eat the goldfish, but the kids and then some of my grown kids really do like the goldfish. Okay, and then she had got the fruit snacks right here. And then some of the fruit juiceables, you know, too. Just for the kids to snack on also. Okay, and then we got these Huggies Natural Care Wipes. Uh, this is a big 668 pack of them, but there are three packs of wipes in them, okay? So now I'm going to put it into the stockpile, you guys. I'm going to throw, throw, you know, the freezer stuff into the freezer. And I'm going to uh, just put, we got a snack cabinet for our crackers and fruit snacks. But um, I'm going to put these up into the uh, storage uh, closet. All right. Okay, I'm here in my hallway and I'm getting ready to put everything up into the stockpile closet. So I'm glad right here is going to be the moment of truth of, you know, what I got too much of, what I don't have enough of. Different plans to make more room for more stuff into the stockpile. Because I don't want to have to just not have enough room for stuff. I want to be able to just, you know, put, put in what I want to put in and then whatever, you know. But if it's full, that is good. Then we don't have to buy nothing else until we run out of that product or that item again. So let me just get started. It is loud. As soon as I get started, do the bus. Run him out. We're going to start with this big thing, a Scott tissue, right this here. This is where the tissue will go. I'll put it underneath this one. And this one, I will take this out. I, I just think that look real, I don't know. I just don't like for it to be open. So I will take everything out and put it on top of the new tissue. So two can fit right here, and two tissues can fit right here. So we still got, after this, I'm sure we have room enough for two more tissues right here. We also have a lot of pull-ups going on. So the pull-ups going to go right here with the tissue. So here is the tissue paper and the pull-ups. All in one spot, okay? So I got that in. You can always get, it seems like there's a lot of stuff in here. Yes, but you can always get stuff in. But I really just want single file rows, enough stuff to I know. Like, I got a lot of cleaners, got a lot of lotions, got a lot of toothbrushes and toothpicks. Got lots of laundry detergent, but she did get some laundry detergent today. get these two tied today, so let me get them on here. Now, before it's all over, I do want all the laundry detergent to go across here on this third row. Because on this row right here, we got so much vertical space right here that I'm really looking to put a, a shelf right here to double this up. So all this down here will go up here on that second shelf. And then all the laundry detergent will be across here. And I like to keep about six laundry detergents. So right now I got one, two three, four, and with the other two ties, we got six. So that's the amount I like to keep in the stock and it lasts, it's gonna last us a long time. Okay, so those are the two that are right there. Those are the last two detergents that we had gotten. So really, no, these would be the last two we got, you know, and then I moved them two to the front and then on up to there. I try to rotate them from here 
to up there. Just for right now, I do have I do have a system where I rotate from here up until there, from newest to oldest. So right now we're using this gain in the front, and when that gain get done, we will move that tie to the front, and I pull the gain up to here. I know, and the girls know kind of how I want it. So yeah, but anyway, so the two laundry detergents are in there, and the door it will still shut. It's still shut, yeah. Even with that game being right there at the front of the door. All right, let me get the rest of the stuff in here. Three dove and the two dove and the axe just came in today, which is like deodorant sprays, whatever you want to say. And this is our deodorant bin right here. I start using one of those Dollar Tree bins for the deodorant, and I do got two band aids and like a couple of packs of razors in here. I'm gonna be moving the razors and band aids out of there. Uh oh, that fell. I'm be moving that out of there into this little small bin right here. I took further notice because we're going to start using this uh, shaver cream where you just put the shaver cream on and then you just wipe it off. So we're going to start trying that. And I forgot the name of it. I may try to pop it up. We really want to start trying that. That'll do away with shaving cream and the razors all in one. But we'll see how that goes. So I got the deodorants all in here, all in the bin. So there's five new deodorants. You probably got like two new, two using... Two of the other ones that we're using it probably is in the bathroom. And I think I have one in my bathroom also that I'm currently using. So here's five more right here. Gonna put that up there. We could always use a few more deodorants. Got that just right up there. And then I just put the free razors and band-aids in that little bin. And I just set it on top of the, the bleaches just for right now. Alright, that's and my good. daughter Yasmin, she did get four more body washes, right? And so we only have one row of body washes and bubble bath right here. And it's all filled up. So I'm just going to have to uh, put these on the floor and line them up on the floor. But in the future, I do want to have two, even three rows of body wash. So we won't have to go get it as often. So that's where the double the double row is going to come into play. I want to put a chef right here, Yavin. And one that, that ooh, that'll help one. I can put double the amount of stuff right there. And in the bottom, on the bottom, we got a lot of vertical space, too. Yeah, and y'all remember, yeah, I mean, did get the 168 count of these Huggies wipes. Let me get them put up. All right, so I opened the wipes and I split them down. There are three packs in the wipes, and they go right over there in that corner. So I'm going to get them over there in that corner. And after that, I should be able to fit two or three more packs of wipes over there in the corner, over there right in the corner. So. Let me get them put away. All right, and there are the wipes all put away. All right, these are the last few items that I got to put away, which are these two hand soaps right here and this plug-in right here. The plug-in, you know. Whoa. All right, it goes right up here. I'm just going to set it kind of toward the back. Yep. I just put it kind of right on top of the other smell good stuff. And this is an overflow because this is our one row for the hand soap. Hand soap coming all the way down out to the edge. So I either need to do two rows for the hand soap. I probably will be able to when I double this space right here. But for right now, I'm just going to put it down with the overflow. All right, now I got everything into here, all of our laundry detergent. We got a little bit of overflow right there of body wash and hand soap. That's fine. It'll be used up before we know it. We can always write this space. is for two more big packs of tissue, and then I can put one more pack of tissue right there. No worries. I'll be able to stack the pull-ups on top of the laundry detergent and bleach right there. So because the vertical space under here is real, all that extra space right there, it will get utilized. I'm so thankful for you having going to get that haul for us today. So all of that is still pretty much the same, except we put more wipes in over there. And we might get one or two more wipes over there. And then we put in the extra deodorant. Probably can utilize, use a couple of more deodorants and some shampoo and conditioner back up in there. And we're definitely working on pads and liners to get a few more now. Because we have a lot of vertical space up here also. I mean, there's potential for this uh, closet to be able to... Um, hold more and more and more items and products where we won't have to go to the store as often. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for listening. And until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.